I'm Lawrence and we are back and today we're going to talk about the top three yoga moves, not stretches, that I'm picking for you for pitchers. Don't be afraid to do any and all of the groupings of moves, whether you're infield or outfield or not. This one I designed specifically for the needs of pitchers, so let's go. All we need is our timer. I'm going to time it for you. We are going to start standing for this one. It's an alternating walk. Okay. So we're warming up the shoulders, the hips, the power in the legs. These are going to be a little challenging for you. What I don't want you to do is stop. I want you to build the endurance. I want you to do it until this is easy for you. Let your shoulders rise up. Let's keep a nice, relaxed shoulder girdle. Pushing off the floor like you would push off the mound. Push, push, stay with it. Not easy, not easy. Do I wanna stop? Kinda, am I going to? Notice which side's easier for you, which side's harder. Warming up the shoulders now for our next two strengthening, stretching yoga moves. You can walk around if you want. I'm staying put because you're here, but if you want to walk back and forth outside, do that in the outfield, in the bullpen. Woo, good. Let's take it to the next one. It's going to be an inverted table lift. So you're going to come onto your back. Knees bent, feet flat. Feet are going to be hips to shoulder width apart. You're going to lean back on your hands. Notice that my fingertips point towards my body, not away. Okay? You always want to make sure your hands are plugged solidly into the floor with all 10 fingers. And we'll set the time. And let's inhale, bring it up. Shoulders back. Lift the heart. Exhale, bring it down, butt between your hands. Inhale. Exhale. Strengthening those wrists. Stretching the forearms. That elbow joint, shoulder joint, biceps. The more you push away with your hands, the better. And you want to also push with your whole foot. So people tend to push with their heels. I don't want you to do that. I want you to engage the whole foot. Plug it in. If you feel okay, drop the head back. That makes you dizzy. Don't worry about it. It's not a tricep raise. It's lifting the butt up and down, opening the chest and shoulders and arms. Lifting the heat in me, I'm starting to sweat. Slow and controlled. Make sure you're at the base of that big, that pointer finger. At the base of the pointer finger isn't popping off the floor. That's what's gonna cause your wrist to bother you. You don't want that. Your body's perfectly suited for two minutes to be supported by the wrist. When you're up, a little extra push. When you're down, relax and release. All right, so come 
back. Maybe just take a moment or two for those wrists to rebound. A couple rolls in each direction. Feels pretty good, but it's challenging. So the third and final one we're gonna do for pitchers today is up dog, down dog, with a little bit of a twist. Normally, up dog is done on the tops of the feet. For this particular move, for pitchers, we're gonna keep the toes tucked, emphasizing the opening of the chest, strengthening of the upper body from the wrists all the way up through the neck. And we're also keeping the toes tucked to increase that power to push off when you're pushing off the mound, opening up the hamstrings, hips, stretching the whole front body so that the back is gonna extend as well as bringing your arm back and all the tension doesn't end up going to your shoulder or God forbid your elbow. So we, we set the timer, palms flat, fingers spread. Keep the hands fully plugged in. Tuck the toes under, come into your downward dog. So we're gonna inhale, keep the arms straight, up dog. Again, it's about perfect movements very focused on form. It's not about speed. It's not about counting reps. The timer's gonna count for us. All we're gonna do is stretch out each one. Hamstrings here, and chest, anterior spine, abdominals back here. You can inhale in your up dog, exhale in your down dog. Hands and feet never move. This one, I have to admit, feels really nice. Feels good too if you sit at desk for a long period of time, if you drive a lot. You got your computer a lot. You really need to open that front body. Hip flexors, releasing some of the tension on the low back. You're almost there. So if you're thinking about stopping, don't. Just a mere two minutes each, six minutes of your life to get ready to take the mound. Finish each one. Just a couple more. Aren't you sad? <laughs> All right, drop the knees and come back. You could do a nice child's pose if you want. Those are our, my top three picks yoga moves for pitchers specifically. Don't be afraid to search around all the other positions because you might just find that one of the other positions taps into one of your weaknesses that you need to work on too. So until next time.